People often ask me how we came up with the name High Five Hope. It was two years ago at a refugee camp in Thailand, a camp full of Korean and Burmese refugees. And I was doing a basketball clinic for about 100 kids there who lived in the camp. Now, most of these kids were born and raised in this camp and lived in very severe conditions. The uh, facilities that they lived in were very cramped, uh, made out of thatch and bamboo. Uh, most of them had, uh, had been separated by their families um, through relocation uh, and tremendous illness, uh, malaria, dengue fever, uh, diarrhea, um, surrounded them every day. And so we, we showed up at the camp with uh, hundreds of basketballs and, uh, and equipment for the camp, uh, infrastructure equipment, copper, power, uh, some software for their makeshift computer lab, and a variety of toys for the disabled uh, kids in, in their classroom. And during the basketball clinic, as we were doing some drills, uh, I decided to give some high fives to uh, a few of the girls that were doing really well in some of the drills. Uh, and they didn't, really, didn't know how to, how to give a high five. They tried to either shake my hand or uh, they would look and walk up and look at my hand and, and not understand how to high five back. And so uh, I tried with a few other kids and no one, no one really knew what to do with a high five. So I realized that these kids had never learned how to, how to give a high five. Uh, and you have to put it in context that there's no media or, or NBA or, or sporting uh, games on TV uh, for them to, to see and associate what, what a high five is. Uh, so I stopped the clinic right then and there and decided to spend time showing them all how to, how to give a high five. Uh, and we ended up doing a variety of patterns, running in, uh, in, 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 in circles, running in, in, in circle eights, running in squares. Um, you name it, all giving each other high fives back and forth. And this went on for about an hour and a half, two hours, as we uh, ran around and gave high fives. And the great thing about it is the kids just got an absolute kick out of this. They were giggling and laughing the entire time as we ran around giving high fives. And for a couple hours, we forgot about where we were at. And I think the kids forgot about the dire circumstances they, they exist in. And, um, their spirits were kind of lifted and taken away from that refugee camp for a short period of time. And that's when I thought that this is really the, the essence of, of sports, is when uh, you're able to transcend your, uh, your circumstances and find a, uh, a great spot of happiness and uh, camaraderie with people with, on the field or the court with you. Uh, and decided then and there that uh, the hope that we were we were giving to some of these kids and some a little ray of light in their life, even for a short period of time. I thought the high five represented that quite well, and so that's how we came up with the name High Five Hope.